Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says if px is equal to x cube plus ax square plus bx plus 6 leaves the remainder 3 when divided by x minus 3 and x minus 2 is a factor of px find the values of a and b. Before moving on to the solution let's recall the remainder theorem first. According to this theorem we have let Px be any polynomial of degree n greater than or equal to 1 and A be any real number and if the polynomial Px is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder is p a next we have the factor theorem According to this we have that if Px is a polynomial of degree n greater than or equal to 1 and a b any real number then we have x minus a is a factor of Px if Pa is equal to 0 and Pa equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor of Px. This is the key idea to be used for this question. Now let's move on to the solution. We are given the polynomial Px is equal to x cube plus ax square plus bx plus 6. It's given that when the polynomial Px is divided by x minus 3 then the remainder is equal to 3. According to the remainder theorem we have that if polynomial Px is divided by x minus a then its remainder is Pa. That is when we apply the remainder theorem in this case we say that when polynomial Px is divided by x minus 3 then remainder is equal to P3. Now we have P3 is equal to 3. Putting x equal to 3 in this polynomial Px we get P3 that is 3 cube plus a into 3 square plus b into 3 plus 6 is equal to 3. This gives us 27 plus 9a plus 3b plus 6 is equal to 3 which further gives us 9a plus 3b is equal to minus 30 or we can say 3a plus b is equal to minus 10 let this be equation 1. Now the next condition given to us in the question is that x minus 2 is a factor of px now I'll recall the factor theorem in this we have one condition that if x minus a is a factor of px then we have pa is equal to 0 now here x minus 2 is a factor of px so this would mean 
P2 is equal to 0. Putting x equal to 2 in this, we get P2. So we have, this would mean 2Q plus A into 2 square plus B into 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. That is, we have 8 plus 4A plus 2B plus 6 is equal to 0. This further gives us 4A plus 2B is equal to minus 14. Or we can say 2A plus B is equal to minus 7. Let this be equation 2. Now we will solve equation 1 and 2 to find the value for A and B. Now we have 3A plus B equal to minus 10 and 2A plus B equal to minus 7. Now we subtract the second equation from the first equation. So we get A is equal to minus 3. Now substituting A equal to minus 3 in equation 1 we get 3 into minus 3 plus b equal to minus 10 that is we get minus 9 plus b equal to minus 10 which further gives us b equal to minus 10 plus 9 so we get b equal to minus 1. So now we have got a equal to minus 3 and b equal to minus 1. So this is our final answer. With this we complete the session. Hope you have enjoyed the session.